Cruz wins Texas and by a big number. Let's say, and he might not, Rubio wins Florida. By whatever number, it's winner take all. Let's say Kasich, who I'm told is eight points ahead right now in Ohio. Let's say he wins Ohio. A Republican has to win those three states. Those are big mama states. Now, if Trump's the nominee, I'm not saying he won't win one, two, or all three of them. But among the Republicans, he's clearly not the strongest. Certainly not in Texas, and we'll see about the other two states. Again, it's a hypothetical. I'm not predicting. I have no idea. But I am making a point. When your negatives are through the roof, when you're actually getting about a third of the popular vote in these primaries, <clears throat> and all the other candidates are getting two-thirds, if you can't win Texas, if you don't win Ohio or Florida, just how strong is the front runner? And remember what I said. The talk was that he'd win at a minimum eight, maybe as high as all the states. Certainly nine or ten of them last night, but he didn't. He won seven. Still a solid victory. I got it. But those were not the original expectations. I didn't expect Ted Cruz to win Oklahoma and Alaska. Did any of you? I didn't expect Rubio to win Minnesota. Did any of you? I didn't expect it to be really, really close in Virginia, waiting for one county to come through. Did any of you? Seriously? Not based on the media reports, not based on the propaganda and the pretend whiteboards and the phony figures that people are throwing around. 